Welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. For today's video, we're doing a what I eat in a day on keto for weight loss. So I'm just gonna take y'all along my day and show y'all what meals I'm going to be having. As you saw, I got up and I got my workout in. I feel so much better, guys. <laughs> if you've been keeping up with my videos, I know I didn't get to post like a video for the weekend, guys. My parents were here. Uh, my kids were on spring break. I feel like everything has just been so off track. So today, I took the time, I'm getting back on track, getting my mind straight, and getting things that I need to get done since my kids are officially back into school. I know some of y'all were commenting saying, your kids are already back in school. Yeah, they had spring break this week. I know like different places, they do it different times, I guess. So I know some people have spring break this week, but my kids had it last week. So I was totally off schedule, totally off schedule. But I officially back on schedule and we got our workout in this morning. I did some cardio, 20 minutes at a cardio at an incline of three, burned some great um, calories. And then we did some arm workouts today. I took a shower, got ready, and it is officially around, I think it's like 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock. And usually this is the time that I go ahead and have my first meal. I do do intermediate fasting because I have been getting lots of comments asking if I do. Um, yeah, I always have. I've always have along my journey. I think it definitely helps. So I, the last time I ate last night was probably around like seven, between six and seven. And then usually I won't have my first meal to between 11 and 12. So we're going to have a first meal today. I know I've been going in on my protein shake lately, but I don't want to shake this morning. I want some good hearty breakfast. So we're going to go ahead and make our first meal and I will probably have myself a hot cup of coffee too. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna get starting on is my coffee so it could stay warm over here. Yeah, I'm having hot coffee today. My parents were here and they, they love coffee over the weekend and I hadn't had hot coffee in forever. So I don't know, it was just delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some hot coffee today. So I have this, this is by HEV. It's their Cafe Olay Cream Brulee. So it's like a medium bodied with sweet vanilla flavor and slight caramel finish. It's so good, definitely give it a try. Um, HEV has tons of like coffee grant, like coffee flavors, like so many of them. Okay, so I'm just gonna make half a pot. Um, so I have my little, it's all, look, look what my mom did. She left it dirty, okay. So we're going in with three for half. Let's make half a pot. And I'm gonna get this started and let's pull out some breakfast stuff. Half 
classic. Oh, drip stop is on. Classic, and that'll start brewing. So for breakfast, I'm gonna go ahead and make me some keto pancakes using this Nush pancake mix. It's really good, I really enjoy this one. Just with some eggs on the side and that should fill us right up. So let's get started on this. Okay, so to make two pancakes, you mix one fourth cup of the mix. So I'm just gonna add it to this little jar that I like to pour my pancakes out of. And I have tried this before, if y'all saw like, I don't remember what what I need day video it was, but I have tried them and they're really good. I like to add cinnamon to them and some vanilla. So we're gonna do that too. And then you add a tablespoon of some oil. I just go in with olive oil. Gonna add this in. And then you add in one fourth cup of water. And then this is the base of it, like just mix it up and you have your pancakes. But I like to add vanilla and a dash of cinnamon and it just takes it up a notch and they're, notch and they're so good. I just go in with a splash of vanilla. And then a dash of cinnamon. And this is optional, like I said. So good though. We're going to give this a good mix and let's get started on making them. You have to cook these on a low because you don't want them to burn. So on the side, I'm having eggs and avocado. Definitely add like some breakfast meat. But this past week when I went grocery shopping, the only breakfast meat that I picked up was chorizo. And I would rather have sausage with this. So I need to pick some up this week. <laughs> so I'm going to spray it down with some olive oil spray just so it doesn't stick. And then it makes two pancakes. So I'm going to go ahead and divide this batter in half. And it does have flax seeds in this pancake batter. I think that's why it gives it like this color. But they're super good. I like them. These pancakes get super fluffy. So when they start getting fluffy like this, we're going to go ahead and flip it. Ooh, look at that. They get nice and crispy. I love crispy edges. I always put more batter in the first pancake. <laughs> so then I have a small and a big pancake. Pancakes are done. Now for the eggs, I'm just gonna melt down some Kerrygold butter. I'm gonna go in with two eggs today for my breakfast. I'm gonna scramble these up. Season with some salt, of course. black pepper and then after this I'm gonna probably go ahead and see if I have some avocado on hand and a slice up of avocado to eat with my eggs all right I got my two pancakes my two scrambled eggs and I am gonna go in with half an avocado just because I don't have no breakfast meat today, you know, I just want it to be more filling. To my avocado, I will season with this bagel not included seasoning. This stuff is the bomb.com. So good. So I like to just add it on there. And then I'm going to go in with some sugar-free syrup. This is the one I'm using by Maple Groove Farms. and add it right on top of my pancake. Serving size is two tablespoons, so I just go with a tablespoon on each pancake. All right guys, and here is my breakfast. I got half an avocado with my bagel nut included seasoning, two scrambled eggs, and two of our keto pancakes with sugar-free syrup. Very simple breakfast today, guys. Add some breakfast meat to this if you do have on hand. I gotta go pick some up, but having my water, and I know this is probably gonna hold me over for a couple of hours, but I'm probably gonna be hungry come around like um, before I pick up my kids from school. I have to head to HEB, so I'll probably pick up an on-the-go snack, and I'll show you all the options they do have. They have awesome stuff there. But I'm gonna sit down, enjoy this breakfast, and I gotta get some work done. So I ate breakfast earlier and it was really good, but I totally forgot I made coffee. So while I'm getting in some work, I'm gonna go ahead and have me a cup of coffee 
And yeah, I totally forgot. And I came over here and I knew something was missing. So I was like, what is missing? And I came over here and I see the hot pot of coffee. I was like, oh my God, I totally forgot my coffee. I don't know how I did that. Cause y'all know I don't forget coffee, but I did. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pour me up some coffee, finally. And yeah, I have been cutting back on dairy, but today I'm gonna go in with some heavy cream. We're just gonna do half a cup of coffee. Guys, I'm doing like grown up stuff right now, taxes and all that, draining stuff. So this is gonna come in handy right now. My Look at this, my, my dad's sister gifted me this a while back. It's a Ray Dunn cup, but it says girl boss. I absolutely love it. And then I'm going to go in with some Jordan Skinny Syrup. My dad was using this one over the weekend. This is her Maple Bourbon Pecan one. It's actually really good. You know what? I think I'm going to go in with this one. I wasn't going with Rocky Road, but I've been using this one lately. So I'm going to go in with this Maple Bourbon Pecan Jordan Skinny Syrup. Add a splash in here. Add sweetness. And then I have this. It's like a frother. So it makes like um, cold foams and I love it or hot. But I'm gonna go in with some heavy cream and it's gonna froth it up and get it all nice and fluffy. And you just click the power button and it's gonna mix it all up. So it's mixing right now and it get it just takes like one minute. You can see it starts steaming and it starts frothing it. I love it. I got this off of Amazon. I can link it below for y'all in the description if you're interested. And it just stays right here on my counter. I haven't been using it lately, but I only mostly use it for my hot coffee. And y'all know I love iced coffee, but I need to start using it again. I'm going to mix in my Jordan Skinny Syrup first. And then this is all done. And when you pour it... You have yourself a nice foam and it just sits on top. Oh, it looks so good. Look at this. Oh, it got all that nice foam on top and you can add like different flavors to your foam as well and change it up. But I'm gonna sit down, finish what I gotta do and enjoy this nice cup of coffee that I totally forgot about. <laughs> I came to H-E-B real quick. I needed some stuff for the house, a little bit of things for my kids. And while we're in here, we're going to grab a midday snack and see what they have where I can just eat in my truck while I pick up my kids from school here shortly because I'm about to jump in the school line. And yeah, H-E-B always has some great options that you can always have on the go. So let's head in. guys i just got back from h-e-b i am in my kids school line to pick them up i have a few minutes left before the line starts moving so this is what i picked up from h-e-b h-e-b is awesome they always have little snack trays like this for on the go they had another one i think it was pepperoni olives cheese and i can't remember what else I want to say tomatoes um, but this was the only other option they had usually they're pretty stocked up I know they have a couple different options but you got to be careful because most of them come with crackers I was um, usually they have like packs of boiled eggs they came out with their egg bites for breakfast um what else I was gonna try like their chicken salads guys but their chicken salads and like those pre-mixed chicken stuff they're loaded with sugar so I really would kind of stay away from that um but there's also there's other good options they have salads duh i always get their salads they have grilled chicken salads um and then they have tons of family meals that are keto they're even labeled keto low carb um and yeah they have all kinds of different stuff but i'm gonna go ahead i actually haven't tried this little package so what it has is just a boiled egg it has one boiled egg in there um cubed kobe jack cheese mesquite smoked turkey and almond so this is great guys how much was this i don't even know how much this was honestly it doesn't have the price on it but it was one dollar off they always have great coupons and i absolutely love heb so this is going to be my midday snack i will be snacking on this while i'm in school line and it's just something easy to keep on hand guys you could totally make this yourself like if you want some of these things or you know you don't want to go make these yourself even if you buy it once you could save this container take it to work and fill it up with any kind of like lunchable things that are keto approved on the go for work for school whatever you do 
and just fill it up every day or just buy a couple containers like this they sell them in packs at HEB and you can just have yourself a keto friendly little lunchable for work or on the go but I'm lazy <laughs> and I got this free package and I just like to show y'all that they do have these options where you can just head on the store guys in the store and just grab whatever you like just grab it and be on the go so I'm gonna snack on this a midday snack and I'm really excited because it looks good I haven't had like um one of these in a while I've been like missing almonds and just like cheese and deli meat and eggs and I never take the time to pre-package anything so this is going to be a treat for me I absolutely love these kinds of things and just loving on the quality of it super good still cold super fresh love their cheese and like blocks of cheese like this let me try the almond almonds are really good boiled egg looks really good let's see the inside of it mm. fresh really good mm. i love this totally worth it all right, you guys, before we get into dinner, I have a little unboxing for y'all slash review. I'm really excited, but I had to open it the other day because I got sent it the other day and I had to put them in the fridge, freezer, whatever, because they're cheesecakes, but I'm excited. So I officially have a discount code with Protein Snack Shop. If y'all seen one of my last What I Eat In A Day videos, I had got sent these delicious cheesecake protein bars, keto approved, and they are awesome. I absolutely love them. So they reached out to me and they gave me a discount code. All the information will be in the description below so y'all can see receive some money off and enjoy these delicious cheesecakes just like I do. So they sent me a couple flavors for me to try and I'm really excited. I'm gonna review them for y'all and tell y'all what my favorite flavors are and all that good stuff. So before we get started, they do have a limited edition um, flavor each month. So each month they come out with a new flavor. It is only for that month and then it's gone. So if you want to get your hand on that specific flavor each month, I would definitely recommend ordering because I have not been disappointed. They are so, so good and they are packed with protein and I'm just excited to review these. So we're going to start with the, should we save their limited edition for last? Let's save the limited edition for last. We're gonna start with the other flavors. So they did send me one flavor that I have tried already and y'all already know this is a flavor that hooks me onto these protein cheesecakes. This flavor is delicious. I don't know, maybe it's just because I love chocolate. Y'all already know I'm like a chocolate fan. And cherries, so when they mixed it all together, I was like, oh my God so good so depending what flavor you get they all range in protein and net carbs and all that good stuff so let me show y'all again this is the protein snack chocolate cherry cheesecake this one is also limited edition so get your hands on it before it is gone so they will always have like the little limited edition right here if it is and let me tell y'all, this one is so good. This one is 13 grams of protein, six net carbs, no added sugar. And it does have like the calculator on the side telling you what sugar. So it has 13 grams of sugar alcohol, two dietary fiber, 21 total carbs equals six net carbs for this flavor. Remember guys, these are a treat. Even though they do have a good amount of protein in them, I do recommend to treat them as a treat. Do not indulge, even though it is hard. I know you wanna eat one like every single day, once a week, and you are good. And it is just a nice treat, maybe twice a week. It is just a nice treat. So I definitely recommend this flavor. Like I said, I've tried this one before, so good. And they do last up in the in the freezer for a year and you just transfer them to your fridge just to get softened and they stay up in the fridge as well, really good. So they last a really long time. So this is the chocolate cherry cheesecake flavor. Absolutely love this flavor. Now let's move on to a flavor that I haven't tried yet. I don't know which one, I'm gonna go for this one. Okay, I love purple and they have such nice, nice packaging, like I love them. So this one is the peanut Peanut tea, that's what it says, peanut tea caramel cheesecake. 16 grams of protein, five net carbs, zero grams of sugar. So 20 grams total carbs, two dietary fiber, 13 grams sugar alcohol equals five net carbs. And this is their packaging. I love purple, it looks so pretty. I don't know, this flavor sounds so good. So let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm super excited. And I'm just gonna be trying every one, and then of course I'm gonna be saving these. I'm gonna be 
I'm gonna be eating all of these. You know what, I need to grab scissors. I don't know why I didn't grab scissors. Okay. And these do have whey protein powder in them. Okay, so all of them, they come just like this. They're wrapped and they come in like a little board like this. My dad was here over the weekend and he tried the peanut one with nuts on top. I'll pop up a picture and I did too. And I don't even like peanut butter. Like I'm not the biggest peanut butter person. Like I'll try it, but let me tell y'all, that one was so good. And I loved that I had the little nuts on top. It was just like the icing on the cake. It was so good and he absolutely loved it too. Oh, this one looks like it has a drizzle on top. I'm super excited. So their crust is made with almond flour, so it does have a crust. <gasps> this looks so good. So like the peanut butter that I got that last weekend, it had nuts on there like top. But look at this drizzle, oh my God. So it says peanutty caramel cheesecake, but I don't know, is that like chocolate on top with peanuts and caramel? Look at this, and they are so thick. Like you get such a good size bar. I am super excited. Let's go ahead and try it. Oh my God. Mm. You guys, like I'm not even joking. Like these cheesecakes literally melt in your mouth. They do not taste like keto cheesecakes. Like it feels like you're cheating. Like they are so freaking good. The peanuts, so good. I love peanuts and chocolate. Has a chocolate, you taste the caramel, you get the saltiness with the sweet. The almond crust is like perfect. Oh my God, I can eat this one like all day. Mm. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, so freaking good. Mm. I highly recommend this flavor. I'm saving this one. Oh, this is so good. So again, peanutty caramel cheesecake, guys. If you are a caramel lover with the peanuts and the chocolate mixed in, you're gonna love that. 10 out of 10. All right, I, I don't even know how to move on. Like, these are just so good. And like, I, I do not like, even like the biggest fan of cheesecakes. And every time I eat these, they're just like perfect. The sweetness is there, like everything. All right, next one we're gonna try. So they do have vegan options. Not only do they have keto, they have vegan. So they sent me a vegan one. So this one, vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, non-GMO, protein snack, vegan almond latte bar. I'm super excited to try this one. So even though it is vegan, of course it's keto friendly as well because it's only four net carbs and this one has caffeine in it. So it has six MGs of caffeine, 12 grams of protein. Oh my God. Super excited. Protein is six grams, did I say that? Oh, 12 grams of protein, sorry. Oh my God, I'm super excited. It does have five grams of sugar alcohol, but this is their packaging on this one. Super cute, so it's like a different kind of like color than like the regular keto one, the vegan one. Oh my God, so it has caffe uh, caffeine in it. Vegan almond latte bar, I am so excited. Let's give this one a try. Again, same packaging. Ooh. Ooh, it smells so good. I feel like this one's a little bit thinner than like the other ones, but this one has like a different kind of crust to it, I wanna say. Ooh, it smells so good. It smells so good. So it has like a chocolate, it's just like a chocolate layer on top, just like that. Ooh, okay, let's give it a try. It smells like coffee. Mmm. Their crust is a little bit more like crunchier on this one. I really like that. Mmm. It's like, oh my God. It's like crunchy and chewy. I kind of taste like, I have like a little caramel center right there. Guys, super good. I don't get an explosive flavor of like coffee, which is not a bad thing. You taste more like cocoa mixed with a little bit of sweetness and then you get like the crunch kind of like, I wanna say it's like a gram kind of like bottom to it. But then again, I don't know. It's just like, I don't know. It's so good though. It's like chewy at the same time with crunchy and I absolutely love that. But. I don't taste coffee flavor, 
which is not a bad thing. I'm trying to explain what it tastes like. I don't know. It's just like a delicious kind of like cocoa bar. It's just so good. I give this one a nine out of 10 only because I want the coffee flavor like there. Like I want more latte and I kind of, it kind of tastes just like a cocoa kind of golden gram cracker thing, which is not a bad thing. Like this is so, so good, but I want it to taste like that, like a latte bar. It's an almond, duh. It says almond latte bar. So it does, it has like the crunchiness from the almond mixed with the cocoa and then you get like the chewiness like oh it's just so good but i definitely want more punch of latte but still delicious nine out of ten like really really good i love this one this one is super good too so great vegan options if you are vegan they definitely have vegan options for you so i oh that's good okay next one we're gonna try the original cheesecake so they do have an original cheesecake flavor if you're someone that doesn't want to get like all these different flavors and you just like yourself an original cheesecake they got you so this is their cheesecake flavor 13 grams of protein three net carbs zero grams of sugar 13 total carbs one dietary fiber and nine sugar alcohol equals three net carbs so we're gonna go in with this one of course this is gonna be amazing like if all these other cheesecakes are amazing, can you imagine their regular cheesecake flavor? Like, come on. And this one is big, look at this. They're all nice and thick, like, ooh, and they have that perfect layer of crust. I love them. And I love that they package them just like this. Sealed for freshness. All right, can y'all hear the doggies running around? I'm eating, all my little dogs start running. All right, so this is what it looks like, plain looking cheesecake. Woo, smells like vanilla and cheesecake goodness. I don't even have words. Mm. You guys, perfect. Perfect cheesecake. Perfectly sweetened. Perfect amount of vanilla. So good. Their crust, perfection. Like their crust is so, so good. Like you wouldn't even think that it's made with almond flour. It's that good. And I've tried a lot of keto cheesecakes in my life. And these are probably my favorite, like ever, of keto cheesecakes. They're so good. I highly recommend this cheesecake flavor, guys. Original cheesecake, you cannot beat that. 10 out of 10. All right, so we have two more flavors to try. I'm gonna, uh, their limited edition one is last. So I have a peanut butter one. They um, sent me this one, my last package, but I have yet to try it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it for y'all. So this is their peanut butter bar. I don't know if it's different, I think it kind of reminds me of like, if as I'm looking at it, it kind of looks like the vegan kind of style bar. So it doesn't say it's cheesecake. So it's just a peanut butter bar. This is 16 grams of protein, two net carbs, and zero grams of sugar. So nine total carbs, two dietary fiber, six grams of sugar alcohol equals one net carbs. So this is, oh, it says two net carbs in the front. Maybe they made a mistake on the side. So it says one net carb on the side, but it says, oh, it's per serving. There's two servings in here, my bad. So there, I think there is two servings in each one. Oh no, so it depends too. So this one is per package for the macros for the whole bar. This one has two servings, so half of the bar. It just depends what flavors, so make sure you do read. On the side, it does say like per package. It would put it in parentheses, per serving. Okay, so per serving, it's one net carbs for the whole bar, it's two net carbs. So you already know I'll, I'll eat the whole bar in one sitting. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go in with this one. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of the vegan one. So you see that thick crust? Ooh, and it has like the two layers. Yeah, it looks just like the vegan one. Well, kind of different, but they look. this one's a little bit darker. This one's a vegan one. And it has like the three layers, the chocolate or whatever, the center and the crust. Oh, it smells really good. Guys, oh, this smells good. It smells like, um, what are the peanut butter cups? That's what it smells like. Okay, let's give it a try. Mmm. You guys, I don't even like peanut butter like that. This is super good. No lie. It tastes just like a Reese's like cup. And I've tried Reese's cup. You know what it is? I like my peanut butter cold. And this peanut butter, 
it's cold still so you have the crunchiness for the the crust super good and then you have like the the chewy layer the middle layer and then you get the chocolate on top mm. you guys i could literally sit here and eat this whole thing 10 out of 10 this is really good if you're a peanut butter fan you love peanut butter i recommend this one now the last the one i tried last time had the nuts on top if you're somebody that wants the nuts that one's your best bet too if you somebody that just likes it just like this so good so good but they do they are different the other one was a cheesecake this one's a bar so there are different textures the other one has cheesecake in it it's more soft this one's soft but it has the crunchiness from the crust oh my god i don't even know what to say anymore <laughs> i don't even know like all their bars are so good like oh my god again this was their peanut butter bar guys 10 out of 10 so good all right so before we end with our last one this is their limited edition flavor that you can go ahead and order this month again guys don't forget all my information will be in the description below use keto with sammy at checkout to receive a discount and trust me y'all are gonna want to order these cheesecakes <laughs> i'm gonna have all of y'all posting on my facebook saying that y'all ordered these cheesecakes and y'all they're so good because i'm not even lying i'm not joking these are so good and i had a couple people order when I announced that I had got them in my, one of my last What I Ate Today videos. And y'all loved them. So everybody hop on a train, guys. They're good. Trust me. They are super good. Okay. This is their limited edition mint chocolate chip cheesecake. Now, I'm super nervous to try this because y'all know I do not. I'm not the biggest fan of mint. But I'm not opposed to trying anything, especially these cheesecakes, because everyone has been delicious. So I'm sure this is going to be so good. So again, mint chocolate chip cheesecake, limited edition, 14 grams of protein, four net carbs, sugar-free, and there is one serving in here, so per package. This is their packaging, super pretty. I love the mint color. All right, let's give it a try. And it's so great, oh my God. You smell immediately mint, like their whole package smells like mint, and this is so pretty. Like I just wanna admire it. Look how pretty this is such a pretty mint color and then you have that chocolate crust and then you have the chocolate chips oh my god okay so this is their limited edition flavor their cheesecake you got the chocolate layer so much mint i could smell it and then you have the chocolate chips on top Ooh, this is gonna be a different kind of crust so we have a cocoa crust here because all the other ones have been like regular cheesecake kind of vanilla crust and then we had the latte crust as well so this one's gonna be a cocoa crust for the first time all right let's give it a try mm. let me try again no this is actually really good their cheesecake on this one it's a little bit different. It's a little bit more fluffier, which is not bad at all. Their mint flavor, it's like boom, you smell it. But when you eat it, it's very subtle. And it's super good. And then you get the cocoa crust. Nice and like flaky and chocolatey. Oh my god, I lost a piece. Mm. And you even have little chocolate chips in the crust. Wow. This is really good, and I'm not the biggest mint person, like I said, and I actually like this. So, I actually give this a 10 out of 10. I'm, like, really surprised. This is the first time I've ever really tried mint. I just assume that I don't like mint <laughs> because it's just, like, an odd mix. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's odd, but it works, and it's super good. I like this flavor. Mmm. Mmm. 10 out of 10, guys. I love it. And I love the little chocolate chips. These are super good. So if you're someone that likes mint and chocolate, here you go. Limited edition flavor. Get your hands on it before it is gone. I definitely love it. 10 out of 10.
All right, guys, and there you have it. We unboxed and reviewed all our protein cheesecakes that we got this month. They have vegan options, they have bars, they have so many delicious cheesecakes flavors, and I will be reviewing and unboxing one each month. So they're gonna send me a batch of cheesecakes each month. I don't know if it's gonna be the same flavors as like I got, but they are gonna be sending me their limited edition flavor each month. So if you would like to know each month what flavor that is, stay tuned because I will be putting that out. Everything will be linked in the description below to receive some money off. Use code Keto with Sammy. And if y'all happen to order, guys, please head on over to my Facebook. I will love to see some pictures of y'all and the cheesecakes and just leave a review on there because I love them. So I know y'all are definitely gonna love these cheesecakes, but give them a try, guys. I highly recommend them. All right, guys, it is officially time to get started on dinner. Gonna have my last meal for today. For dinner on today's menu will be some keto chicken parmesan, and then I'm gonna put it over some Alfredo noodles with a noodle replacement. So let's go ahead and get started. So I figured out my favorite breading for chicken parmesan. I go ahead and mix some regular chicharrones. I just have some original flavor chicharrones, and then we mix it with some almond flour, and you have yourself the perfect crust. Put a little, par little bit of parmesan cheese, and it's gonna be so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring out my blender. You could definitely like crush this in the bag if you don't have a blender or you know anything on hand like that. And then kind of mix it with the almond flour. But I like to put it in my blender, it gets it really fine. I'm gonna go ahead and start crushing up my pork rinds. Now depending on how many chicken parms you're making, you might need a whole bag, you might not. I'm gonna be making three today. Um, I might go in with the whole bag, I don't know, we'll see. And I just put it on pulse. You see how fast that blended? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in with, I'm probably just gonna go in with the whole bag, guys. Maybe, I don't know. Cause I'm gonna mix almond flour in here. But, honestly, like the chickens take so much breading usually, so we'll just do the whole bag. Sometimes you gotta give it a little shake. Guys, they do sell like a uh, pre-crush. It's called pork panko. You can order it or you can find it in HEB, but it's cheaper to just crush yourself. But if you're like a quick and easy way, they do sell uh, pre-crushed pork grinds if you didn't know. And then to my chichiro mix, I'll go ahead and go in with the almond flour. I'm just gonna put in one cup and then I'm gonna mix it together. All right, I'm just gonna pour this on a plate and then we're gonna add a couple more things. So I'm gonna take this mixture and then I'm gonna go ahead and season with some Italian seasoning. I'm just gonna put this in here cause I'm gonna season my chicken breast here in a bit. And then I like to go in with some grated Parmesan. As well as some like um, shredded Parmesan. Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah, I guess some shredded Parmesan. And then give this a good mix. And then we're gonna go ahead and make our egg wash. Okay, for my egg wash, I'm just cracking them in a bowl. Depending on how many chickens, or chicken breasts you're gonna be making. I think I'm just gonna go in with three to be on the safe side. And we're just gonna give these a good mix. So basically we're just making the breading station really quickly for our chicken. And then for my chicken, I'm taking three chicken breasts, but I like them pretty thin, so I'm gonna cut it in half, but not all the way through. We're gonna take a piece of plastic wrap, and then I'm gonna pound them um, thin. We're gonna go ahead and season each side of the chicken breast with some salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and then a little bit more of Italian seasoning. All right, now what you're gonna do is start breading. So you're gonna take each chicken breast, dip it into your egg mixture on each side. Then you're gonna let the excess drip off and we're gonna take our almond flour and pork grind mixture and dip it in here. And that's it. You're gonna get it nice and coated. Okay. 
dust off the excess and then just put it on a plate to the side okay now we're gonna fry them or but we're gonna get a nice sear like it's not gonna cook all the way through we're just gonna get the outside crispy and then we're gonna put it in the air fryer to finish All right, now these are gonna go in the air fryer to continue cooking. I'm only putting two, the other one I'm cooking, but I'm gonna save that for like a salad tomorrow. I'm just gonna cook up two today. So we're gonna put this in here, and then I'm gonna air fry, go to chicken. I'm gonna do it for 15 minutes, but I'm gonna pull it out probably like five minutes before and add it on some sauce and stuff. All right, now that our chicken is cooking, we're gonna go in with the Alfredo sauce for our noodle replacement. So you could use jar Alfredo sauce, guys. It's not cleanest, it's definitely dirty keto, but it's so simple to make your own. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make my own. We're gonna go in and melt down some butter. Then you can go in with some minced garlic and cook it down, but I'm gonna go in with garlic powder today. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in some heavy cream. This is going to be our sauce. You're gonna go ahead and bring this to a simmer. While that comes to a simmer, this is going to be my pasta replacement today. I get these from HUB in the vegan section by like all the veggies and stuff where they have tofu. This is shiitake, or you could sometimes find it in an aisle. They came out with so many different brands, but you gotta rinse these. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain it and rinse them. I like these and then my favorite, this is my second favorite, but honestly my first favorite is the healthy noodles from Costco. But Costco's 45 minutes away from me, so hopefully I can make a trip soon and get my hands on some more. I'm gonna go ahead and stir this because my heavy cream is simmering. So what you wanna do is reduce your heavy cream and it's going to thicken. You can lower your heat a bit, but while it's doing this, let's go ahead and season. So all I'm doing is going in with the same seasonings that I put in my chicken parm. So I'm going in with some black pepper, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, and then we're going to add some salt. And then I also like to go in with some crushed red peppers. And like I said, go ahead and reduce your sauce. It should just take a couple minutes and you're going to see that it's thickening. Okay, you can see that my sauce has reduced some, but I'm going to go ahead and add in a little bit more grated Parmesan, and this is going to help it thicken and, of course, give it some great flavor. And then at this point, I went ahead and rinsed off my noodle replacement, and I'm going to add this in. And then I'm going to let the noodles heat through and let it continue simmering and thicken. I think I'm gonna season the noodles a little bit more with some salt and pepper or any other seasoning that you would like. Definitely change it up. You can go in with some Cajun seasonings as well. Okay, so I'm halfway through cooking my chicken in the air fryer. Now what I'm gonna do is take this no sugar added um, Italian sauce and put a serving on each chicken breast. The serving size is half a cup and this is probably one of my favorite no sugar added sauces. It's super cheap. I get it from HEB. Cheaper than Rayo's for sure. It's like $3. Then I'm gonna put some shredded cheese, some shredded white cheese on top. As well as just like a little bit of shredded Parmesan on top. And we're going to pop this back in the air fryer for until the cheese is nice and melted. Then for a super quick veggie side, I have these steamable broccoli from Sam's Club. I'm going to pop it in the microwave, steam it up, and season with some salt and pepper. Super quick side. Okay, so I got my broccoli. Now I'm going to go ahead and add on my noodles with the Alfredo sauce. So good. Then we can't forget our delicious keto chicken parm. Oh my God, doesn't that look so good? I'm so ready for this dinner. I like to finish it off with a little bit of parsley flakes. And of course, you already know I love spicy, so I go in with some extra red chili flakes. 
And here is my last meal of the day. If y'all happen to make this chicken parm, post some pictures on my Facebook, guys. It is delicious, especially with the noodle replacement and Alfredo sauce. Just takes it up a notch. But I'm about to sit down and enjoy this delicious dinner. All right, you guys, dinner was delicious. I just finished cleaning my kitchen. My kids are in bed. My husband is asleep because he has super long work days coming up. So he has to go to bed early and I am about to call it a night. I hope y'all enjoyed this what I eat in a day video and it gives you some simple meal ideas on what you can have. Don't forget to order those awesome cheesecakes because they're delicious. And don't forget Tuesday tomorrow is my live at 7.30 Central. Jump on if you would like to chip chat. Come keep me company, hope to see y'all there. But don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel for more awesome keto recipes, and I will see y'all on the next one.